YouTube, what's up? My name is Chicken Fried Rice, and guess what? Today we're going to be playing some 4 vs. 4 in Ruse. This is a short game on strategists, and I am playing with uh, Hachi Mama and Is Your Bye Bye. Let's not forget Brian Leo on the flank, who's playing as UK, who I don't know, but he does play very good as UK ground. Well, not very, but he handles himself fairly well. So, this side we have Golgot, who is not wasting any time to get his um, infantry spam started, followed up by a Siegfried. And uh, look at me, I am just panicking completely. Uh, you can see how much I'm panicking by the amount of units I'm producing. No, I honestly, it's not the end of the world, it's just a regular infantry nurse spam. He doesn't even camouflage it, I see it coming, even then I would have my recon. So he's coming here, sets up his barracks, starts spamming out infantry, that's fine, I haven't made a unit yet. Oh, guess what? I was taking the time to upgrade to Sherman's. What is he going to do now? Oh, look at that. Golgot got himself just screwed over here, trying to push with infantry against four Shermans. Not working out too well for him. On the other side here, my friend Brian, well, not my friend, but Brian, is having some trouble... Um, not because he's a bad player, but because this guy has decided he's going to be bigger nerd than the guy on the other side and do a massive infantry nerd spam supported by Panzer 3s. Who makes Panzer 3s? They're the most pointless light tank in the game. So he sends out this giant stack of infantry against some Vickers and Matildas. Uh, Brian makes sure to keep him always at a good range to be able to kick some ass but not keep, get killed. So he's doing a great job there. On the other side, you have Israel Bai Bai going middle as France, and you have Hachimama taking care of the air. Israel Bai Bai here taking care of some enemy tanks, he uh, heading straight for his HQ. On the other side of things, this guy set up another Siegfried bomber, and for some reasons, the bombs that big, uh, well, Hachimama dropped seem to be hovering. And let's look at that. Oh, there's more bombs hovering. So he's, he tried to bomb that Siegfried. Unfortunately, he was unsuccessful. He did not have the required bomber force. Right there, I had a Sherman that was chasing down a recon. And uh, he's coming back eventually. And right here, you see this guy going for a massive infantry spam, followed up with fighter bombers, which is a problem for me because those fighter bombers are taking out my main line of defense, but nothing to worry about. It's just three infantry I'm going up against and I have three Shermans I take no I waste no time I kill them with my Shermans and just in case I made some infantry to be able to recap the base if it was taken on the other side of hand this guy is running away with his uh, little uh, annoying uh, two, uh, 22s and uh, here comes big uh, well Hachimama getting ready to uh, do some serious damage on this flank on the other side here you have some British I'm guessing this is a recon unit I can't be sure but I'm setting up a secondary HQ here to be able to uh, grab some extra supplies and completely flank this guy and also to help support is your bye byes middle position cover this flank for him make it his job a lot easier this guy chasing him down with a bunch of um, AT but that's fine is your bye byes got an S35 and two cell 40s S35 not very useful, but the two South 40s are going to do some damage against that AT. On this side, Brian is able to turn on the offensive because of the massive rush this guy did. He is in a bad position. Right here, me, we're just cleaning up some loose ends a little all over my territory. And in the meantime, this guy's got absolutely nothing protecting his little barracks. So I don't waste any time going there. I capture it. And of course the sick freak's gonna destroy it, but that's fine. No one really cares about that barracks as long as the enemy doesn't have it anymore. So for some reason, my infantry started running forward, but I rather they retreat. And um, the sick freak does manage to uh, do just a bit of damage before they manage to get the hell out of dodge. Looking at a uh, big, uh, well, no, Hachimama. I keep mixing him up. He changed his name. Drops more bombs that just hover there. That uh, seems to be a new trend here. And uh, his fighter bomber makes sure that recons can no longer report friendly positions. In the meantime, is your bye bye taking care of the middle? And all of a sudden, Latex sends some SU uh, SU 100s or SU 85s I didn't see to uh, help pinch um, Brian in a bad position. So Brian has to go back from the offenses and go back to the defense, unfortunately for him. 
He finally caught a break, but he's back where he was. So finally, I get room to move the six freaks taking out, and I do not waste any time in establishing a base across the river. There is no reason for me to be stalling like this, except for the fact that we were in no rush to win this game. Um, I immediately I'm taking depots here. Really, I all I do is I set up that side, and now I start focusing on this one. Boom, here comes Nachimama and takes down another Siegfried, leaving the, well, all the way wide open for me. On this side, infantry nerd spam guy still living somehow, and uh, our friend is making some fireflies, Brian. And uh, I am rolling into his base. He's using some, uh, oh, a King Tiger and a few units to try and stop me. Unfortunately, a King Tiger doesn't do much against a few Shermans. Uh... Unluckily for me, my Shermans, um, there was way too much for my Shermans to handle there. Two King Tigers, three Shermans, not good odds. So I start taking heavy Pershings. And I start stacking him up, getting ready to roll in and stomp this guy. On the same time, I've secured this flank completely and I've pushed it into the enemy, giving Isra Bai Bai the chance to focus on one side only. With the help of Brian, he put, uh, takes care of this Russian guy who is harassing the crap out of them. And uh, the enemy air is starting to deteriorate rapidly right now because of uh, Hachimama's efforts, which are very effective. On the other side here, we have this guy who has bunkered himself up in and has gotten all the surrender money from his allies. And what is he doing? He's just bunkering up and making a shit ton of units. On the other side, Brian doing what he can, getting some M7 hot wisers and in the meantime he didn't have recon in the back of his base unfortunately for him um, but luckily Big Ted comes and drops um, hovering bombs which are very useful as we all know ah boy hovering bombs I thought I had seen it all anyways this game is pretty much wrapped up I'm not sure if you guys realize it but this guy's got no base this guy's got two admins and that guy's got a giant stack of shit attacking Brian so at this point in the game, it's all on Brian. Uh, the others and I can do whatever we want, but it's really not going to help Brian that much. So I just spam recon everywhere, literally. And uh, watch Brian take on this uh, stack of majestical crap. And somehow this stack manages to keep on and keep on and keep on moving. It's actually doing some serious damage. It's routed most of his units and it keeps pushing. Yeah, you see all those hovering bombs on top of there. So Ted's definitely putting up a fight, and so are the uh, French fighter bombers. All of a sudden, Isra Bai Bai is like, all right, I need to help this guy out. Builds two, three airfields and starts pumping out guppies right away to just destroy the enemy armored advance. And as you notice, there is a litter of hovering bombs above the enemy base for some reason. Well, enemy force. Unfortunately, Brian is unable to hold this. He is facing some overwhelming odds, and this guy decides he wants to take a nap and stop moving. Probably the biggest mistake he could have made. He should have kept pushing. In the meantime, Isra Bai Bai rolls into his base and gets rid of it. Oh, that was a nice... Oh, okay, guys, check this out. We got a little of a texture glitch here. Well, this is nice. Um, texture glitches and hovering bombs. Obviously, something's wrong with Ruse right now. And this is one of the many other glitches that happen in this game. Well, that's always nice to know. Unfortunately for that, um, Brian here finally is able to gain a hold on the situation with a huge amount of support from our allies and a huge amount of hovering bombs. And uh, that's it, guys. As usual, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time.